What's up guys? Mac Depew. I'm back for another episode. Uh, been gone a little while and I kind of want to give a, just a brief explanation on that. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know you come here for a little bit of me and probably a lot of the drones. So I just want to skip the little bit about me, you know, just, just, just briefly go to the drones. Uh, had a peep, I've had a few people asking where I've been and uh, the best way I know how to put it is there's been a lot of, I've had a lot of gears turning, had a lot of things going. Uh, got, a, got a bunch of stuff in store that I'm trying to get ready for. Uh, a bunch of things moving forward in the right direction, they're just moving really slow and that takes a lot of time to get stuff ready. And so it's taken away from my ability to make vlogs and getting home at 11 and 12 o'clock at night leaves you zero time to edit vlogs so it doesn't do you a whole lot of good to shoot them if you can't edit them and you're just wasting taking up tons of space on your computer with files etc etc so I got, I, got, I got big stuff moving it's going my way just going slow so uh, hopefully you're pretty soon I'll be back to the regular regular vlog making videos shooting up to you guys so that said let's get back to the drones kind of talk about drones today is Electrify was cool enough to send me some of their new motors I think they're 2407 motors they have two brands one of them is a 2407 2500 kV and the other one is a 2407 2800 kV I'm gonna go to a snippet of some flight video here for a second and you're gonna see that they rip they fly really well I am not used to the power that they put out and so my flying is looks extremely sloppy because you need so little throttle input for this thing that it's it's I just I can't fly it right yet still still need some some packs on there but as far as efficiency they are they're very efficient for what they are for being the the powerhouse pr uh, motor that they are extremely efficient uh, I'm sure the 2500 kV version is gonna be a little more efficient and I have some of those on the way for my next build uh, totally different frame we'll do hopefully the next video is the review of that frame it's called an aerial vector aerial systems vector something I don't remember anyway Back to back to these motors. Uh, now I usually fly Dow Pros because they're my sponsor, but Dow hasn't had any five by fours come out yet. I hopefully have some of those on the way. But there was too much KV to throw a legitimate 50/50 prop on there, and I was I didn't want to do that to my motors. So uh, I put the five by four V1s on there, and it it's done. Like they spin up so fast that these props have cavitation. Like the props are, they got so much outward force that they're they're wiggling. I'm hoping the cyclones fix that problem. Now that I may just, I may have bad props. I I don't know. Usually HQ is known for having a well balanced prop, so I'm assuming it's cavitation because it doesn't. It's not prop wash. It doesn't do it in prop wash. It only does it on full throttle. And it's not TPA because I've I've messed with all that. I legitimately think that it's the props are, are cavitating but long story short if you're looking for a powerhouse motor for your freestyle rig so you can do that Johnny Sacher crap that little pop and you're like have 10 seconds of float time without slowing down your video because that's like 
the big deal lately is slowing down your fucking video and not telling anybody. I don't know what's up with that, but anyway. Uh, if you want that juicy motor feel, kind of just like slinging that thing with just very little throttle input, these are your motors. Uh, I'll have a link to them in the description below uh, so you can check that out. Now, I'm going to go look at a house, uh, some other things. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're going to enjoy this flight that's coming up. I'm going to throw it in there. Uh, what I want you to do right now is go down under this video, uh, smash that like button, give me a thumbs up if you would. That's really... I've had a couple videos lately get phenomenal views and they're not getting any likes. I don't know what's up with that. So go ahead, go down there now if you're watching. Before I throw the flight video in there, hit that like button for me. Like just just click it. Come on. It's not not hurting anything. Just click it. Click the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell so you get notifications when I upload. Because hopefully I'll be back and kick in here very soon with way cool stuff. Uh because I just got the cool stuff locked down. I can do cool things now, like like the big guys. So keep keep that in mind as you're hitting that subscribe button, you're getting good content. So watch the flight video, hit the like, subscribe, all that. See you guys later. Okay.